Welcome back. I am Headwood, and this is in game with Tomb Raider 2013, and I believe this is episode eight. And in the last episode, we went back to Tomb Raider 1996, and showed you some in game and played around. And uh, before that, we had given the story. Eventually, I will put them kind of side by side just to give you a little bit of you know fun little clip. I probably won't make it part of an episode. I'll just make it an offshoot video that I post up, but that will be it. Anyways, uh, the last we left off, we had found Ross, uh, or Roth or Ross, or I'm not recalling how to pronounce it, but we had gotten a new axe, uh, a climbing axe, a specific one. So it's a lot stronger, and as you can see from the background, it shows different areas on, you know, here and up here that we can actually, you know, slam that thing into and actually climb a wall. So let's get right to it. Give that axe a go on the rock wall over there first. Okay. Let's take a look, real quick look around. All right, we got some birds. Not much. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and hop up here. I can climb this. Okay, so while holding the E, I can press up. Uh, that's gonna make it kind of weird the sideways. Okay, and go up. And there we go. Hey, that's some rain. Yeah, it looks like... Oh, this is the... Can I jump under that? I wonder if I can. Or maybe I can shoot it with an arrow. Hmm. Well, maybe... Maybe later I can do this something with that. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. There's the bird. Okay, jump the jump. Up. All right, that works out really well. Nice. Okay. All right. Um, don't let go of the E, Kevin. Don't let go of the E. Actually, you know what? I gotta see. What happens if I let go of the E? This is kind of an uncomfortable thing. Okay. I let go of the E. Okay, good. Whew. Okay, so where the wise you can let go of the E. Okay, uh, so... Oh, oh! Crap! Okay. Woo! Okay, let go of the E. <laughs> Whew! It's kind of scary there. A secret tomb. Oh, this is that tomb that was over here. The one that was in the water. I already knew about this one. Because we walked in here with earlier. Yeah, we did walk in here earlier, but we couldn't get up this thing. Because we needed that. Cool. Alright, let's see. Oh, more bodies. Or skeletons, I should say. Okay. Now. I'm not worried just yet, but I can't see that far with this thing. I'm going to try to stick to the wall. Um, okay, well there's not any bones on the ground, and I'm not seeing any marks from wolves, so I think I'm okay with that. Okay, what do we got down here? I look slippery. I don't like the idea of slipping down in a place I don't know. Okay, so moving back. Gonna try the other wall. More bones on the ground. And slag tights and slagmites. Oh, hey, there's... Okay. I see light. Can't see anything in between. That's really cool. Can I go down here? Oh. Okay, now that's a little bit of a cheat. 
you know, you're in the dark, you expect it to be scary, and then you hit the queue and everything lights up. Is that really fair? I mean, is that fair to have that type of feature? Anyways. Whatever. Okay, so was there a pathway over here? Or it was just... It was just going down. Okay. Sorry, guys. I can't do that now. Why can't you do that now? Okay. Here we go out in the open. More bodies, man. Okay, and... Campfire. Okay, so there's a campfire inside there. Great. No, 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 no. I want to light the flame, you dumbass. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Oh, I'm gonna go through the water anyway, so I might as well not even light it. Hmm, gilded figures, servants of the Sun Queen. Hey, this looks like the. The one where I push, the, where I put the things in the bucket, it lit it on fire, and then pushed it down the hill, and it exploded everywhere. That's what that looks like. Let's take a look around. We've got a climbing wall. We've got some bodies to swing. Doesn't look like the basket actually does anything this time. But we're gonna shove it. Okay, so the bodies went up. Okay. Is there something hiding down here? You know what? I'm gonna give it a try. Oh. It didn't let me fall down. There it goes. Okay. Anything down here? Oop. Okay, let's jump back up. Alrighty. So I guess I'm gonna swing from this thing? Oh. Nope. So do I need to like fill it with stuff? Or maybe I just have to have a faster reaction. Oh, I wonder if I can set those on fire. Okay. Alright, so, um, let me fire. No, it's over there. Can't do it. Okay, so I have to somehow... I need to jump into it. And then jump off of it, okay? There we go. Then grab the fire. Then light the things on fire. On, on fire, I guess. Okay. Nice. So I'm assuming this is going to make it really lighter, and it will be able to take me up higher. So that offset weight of me... Oh, look at that! I don't want to go there now! I want to go over here! I want to drop down! No, 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 I want to drop down. Thank you. Because I want to get in the baskets. Where'd it go? What? I lost my salvage. Guys, I could have sworn it dropped down salvage. If it didn't, you know, leave a comment. Let me know that I'm crazy or whatever. But I could have sworn that that actually... Oh. That that actually dropped salvage. Could have sworn. Okay. Oh, I see. Now I gotta shove it. Okay, now. That's better. Okay, climb up. Good job. Okay, and then jump. And now let go. Okay, there we go. And up we go. Alright, so what is that? Looks just like riding around the sun symbol again. This may have been built in honor of her priestesses. Incredible. 
Chemico's priestesses? Or yet I forget, is it yet Chemico or Yamatai? Okay. Oops. I'm rich! I'm rich! By the way, whenever you see me at the computer, I'll probably be, you know, drinking some smart water or some water or whatever. Um, uh, that's my drink of choice unless I have soda available to me. So, you know, anybody wants to send me a soda, you know, you can just message me and I'll let you know. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, sure, I'll light it. She's got it in her hand, why not? Okay, so this is a sliding. Uh-oh, what's with the ominous... Okay, well, there's some ominous music just to have kind of randomly there. tried to run ahead because I kind of knew where I was going. She stopped me. Would not let me move ahead without lighting the torch first. Laura's a lot smarter than I am because if I had gone through this, I would have fallen on my ass. Map updated with reward location. Uh, I guess... That's, okay, that's where I'm going. Okay, Gotta get back on track. Got to get back on track. Oh! Holy shit! Did I get turned around or something? Is this like a different area? Oh shit. Um, drop down. Okay, good. Whew. Okay. Okay, so we are good. Now where are we going again? We are going up, which means I need to climb that wall. Okay, I can do that. Okay, now in real life there would be no way. I am 6'1", nearly 200 pounds, and that would be one hell of a difficult thing to do. But little Miss Laura, being exactly that, little Miss Laura, she probably doesn't even weigh 140, maybe 150. Nothing. Shit. What? Nothing. There's no one up here. They never make it up this far. Should we head back up to the bunker? Yes. Nah, let's wait out the storm. Got it. Stay alert! Let's move inside! stuff we get. Awesome. A uh, GPS I can see. Cool. 5 of 15. Um, cross. Cross. Check this guy. That. Got another book. I have spoken to some of the villagers on the island. I was expressly forbidden to leave the palace, but this did not stop me. My duties here are clear. 
I must learn the truth. But the stories I uncover defy belief. Rumors abound of the queen's communion with the spiritual world. They say she commands the sun and the rain, that her lands are abundant by her will alone. <laughs> this is certainly nonsense. But what can be the cause of so. such whispers? Is this how she controls her people? By engaging their primitive superstitions? I saw absolute reverence in their eyes when they spoke of her. Yet, I also sense fear. Her people are treated with fairness, taxed reasonably, and are well protected by her storm god. No wonder some of them even pray to her. It's as if she were more than just a queen to them. Spreading discontent through her people may well be a harder task than I imagine. Hmm. Okay. Weapon is full. Um, okay, I don't think we're supposed to go this way. I think we need to go this way. Do some little hopping here and there. Okay. Um, interesting. We can. Oh, look at that! Salvage! Okay. We're gonna get that salvage first. Okay. I think we have. Yeah. Awesome. Alright. So up here. Okay, we got another shrine that we can set on fire. And we got. Oh, don't fall off! Okay. Um, jump. And up. Good job. One. Light your flame. Thank you. Okay. And light this guy. Get some salvage. Got 500. We got a good amount of salvage, so we've got a good, a good opportunity to upgrade something. The one we, once we find a place to upgrade. Okay. Um, we've got the shrine over there, which we could do. I don't see an easy way to really do it. I think at this point. Oh my God! Oh my God! No. Ah. Wow, guys. Um, that was scary. Uh, I would totally thought that she was going to bite the dust. Well, at least we have the opportunity to... You know, oh, we don't have the opportunity. <laughs> you fall in the water and your torch will go out. Okay. I think next time we'll aim a little bit better. I think I'll jump across back over here. Okay. There's a walking path right there. There's also something down there. Look at that. It's a GPS. Cool. Okay, and jump, jump. Good. Like a torch. We will go ahead and go across over there again. Jump! Good. Jump! And I like jumping them across better than walking the bridge. But I think going back, I think we'll walk the bridge. Okay. Good. And I've got to get on that wall and get up there. So we're going to jump across here. Go. We need to get there. We've got something right here right now, so I'm gonna, you know, see what this is. Nothing we can do. 
Okay, so we're gonna go back over here. And we're gonna jump up here. Climb on up. Okay, now this doesn't look cool. This looks like collapsing. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna try jumping. Reach, girl, reach! Shit. Okay, uh, that's it. Maybe run and then jump? Is that far enough? Is that far enough? Is that far enough? No, it's not far enough! Damn it! <clears throat> okay. Let's try this again. Maybe I gotta jump first. And then go, and then jump at the last second! Oh, no, no, no! Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Note to everybody else. Um, when you're jumping, she's not going to continue moving forward unless you keep pushing forward. And then... Hammer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whew. Okay. Lara, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Barely alive. Did you find Sam? We're still on the trail. I'm going to try and send an SOS from an old radio tower up here. Any tips? There it hey, is. Laura, you're gonna need to find the communications console. It'll look like a bunch of old switchboards. Okay. I'll let you know when I find it. I gotta tell everybody, it's really funny. There are actual water droplets that, um, from the rain inside the game, that are hidden screen and then sliding down. For a second there I thought it was actually some dirt on the screen. That's some really good effects when it can, can you know fool you like that. Okay. So we're gonna do a little bit of sliding. Hey, hey, wake up, wake up, we got an intruder. Dad, Come on, Dad, grab her. Please! You don't do this! Hey. Close. That was exciting. Anything I'm forgetting? Okay. Whew. Okay, good. Light my torch. Get some more salvage. Starts rumbling. I'm expecting the whole thing to collapse again. You're getting a bad feeling about it. Is that something blowing there? No, I guess not. Yeah, this shit is hot. Oh, good. It's odd that animation looks familiar. It looks like the same one when she did it before. For the camp. Okay, show us the cinematic. I'm telling you, Reyes, it's mechanical, not an electrical problem. Now, Alex. <coughs> now, this looks like it might be uh, an electrical problem. You think? <coughs> oh, hello. Hey. Is this little fox, oh, huh? He's cute, huh? <laughs> It's Alicia. Alicia. It's my like daughter. Oh. Fourteen years old. And smarter than you'll ever be. <laughs> she 
must must get that from her father. Don't give him the attention. Nice. And yeah. I'll take a look at this. Probably electrical. From her father. Nice one. So I was on the walk, right? Doing a spot of midnight fishing. Hey, Grim. Time to button down the hatches. Hi, be right with you. So I was on the lock, right? And this thing comes looming at me. Looming out of the water it was. So I give it a old Glasgow kiss, you know. <laughs> Get shot of trouble nine times out of ten, that does. Took me a week to sleep that night off. And I've not touched a drop since. See you at dinner, Sam. Okay, if somebody understood what he says, maybe you can comment and actually say it, because I could not understand it. Or the majority of it. Oh, Roth. All right. Yes, can we do bastard. the viewer, please? Thank you. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take three, and action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like this. Yeah, you got... Good Lord, cut! 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 Cut. A little reaction? Is, is he coming back? <laughs> I'll go get him. Renowned archaeologist. The discoverer. The world renowned archaeologist, Mr. Dr. Dr. James Whitman. Of fish. It's just a fish. It's, it's fine. It's just it's a gonna fish. be fine. This damned reality TV business. I'm I'm meant to be bringing culture to the people, Sam, not dinner. Uh no offense, Jonah. The audience demands content, Dr. Whitman. You know that. So until we find the Lost Kingdom, we need footage like this. Come on, let's just take it from the top, okay? We're gonna make you look like Gordon Ramsay in editing. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take four, action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like that. I've studied them so much, I can see charts on the back of my eyelids. But if I'm not right about Yamatai being in the Dragon's Triangle... I remember when you found that one, your father's digs. You ran up and showed it to me dressed in your penguin pajamas. <laughs> I was five years old. <laughs> okay. It was my first find. Yeah. So, You've got he crazy is a friend of the family. You just have to trust them. Mm. Friend of That's the father. what my father used to say. Now, there was a man that ran on instinct. For better or worse. He would have been so proud of you, Lara. We're getting closer to the storm. Well, whatever's coming, we'll get through it, eh? <laughs> okay. So a little bit of the storyline of okay, her love. background. Pull yourself together. They're counting on you. Okay, is there anything? Okay, so there's some so... Whoop. Almost fell off the cliff. This coin probably found its way into Japanese circulation sometime in the mid 19th century. Okay, let's see if there's anything special about this. Let's twirl it on the side. Turn it over. Oh, it doesn't look like this one has anything special with it, so. Alright, anything else? Berries. Whoop! Oh, hold on. <laughs> Shit. You know what? This is a good place to stop. We're gonna go ahead and do a skill upgrade. Uh, survival. Okay. Uh, pain tolerance. Or punishment in combat. Dirt and rocks. To, uh, so grab a handful of sand and throw it in their face. It's always nice. Two swift strikes with the enemy. Okay, so this is tier one. Okay, so I've got to master those first. Okay, what do we got here? Um. Uh, so, so, 
animal corpses. No, I don't want the animal corpses thing. Uh, spotting hidden pockets on enemy corpses will reward extra ammunition. I th again, I don't think the extra ammunition is vital at this time, but I do think... Hmm. I think this is more important, at least for me. Pistol is not. Don't. Can't upgrade. Uh, we'll do outfits next. Just to finish off this video real quick. Uh, let's see, we've got that. Port vent slide. Recoil. Rapid fire mod. Air trigger modifications increase rate of fire. Silencer, we already got it. Oh, the husk. I keep on forgetting the silencer. Okay. Port vent slide. Recoil. Yeah. I want to reduce recoil. And I know we have points for other things. Uh, we'll put in a logger magazine. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we're good. Everything. Okay, so outfits. Alright, she is wearing currently the default outfit, which is the t shirt and the jeans type of setup. But let's take a look and see what she looks like in her hunter outfit. Alright. Alright. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, I can't. I was trying to zoom in. Okay. Uh, whoops. Where did it fall out of the fire? Oops. Okay. So she's got... I'm not sure whether that's paint. Yeah, I think those are like, like dirt rubbed on herself. She's got a darker tank top. And it looks like camo pants. Alright. Let's take a look at the next one. Alright. Oops. Sorry. Okay, let's take a look at her Aviatrix. Oh, Aviatrix. Okay, everybody. There we go. Alright, so she's got some type of jacket on, long sleeve, leathery looking thing. She's got, it's like, uh, some type of brown leather pants or something. Uh, that's a better view. Alright. Yeah. Okay. So that's out that outfit. And we'll check out the final outfit right now, and then we'll decide what we want to do. In fact, what I want everybody to do is, as we go through here, I want you to make a comment and let me know which one you want Laura to wear. Okay, so this is the camo. She's got like a military type of vest on and just like a pair of black jeans something like that all right okay uh, i think we'll leave her in this outfit for now and this is the end of episode eight again my name is hedden and this is in game with tomb raider 2018 we will see you next time